tax proration. Can you give us the 101 on what the tax proration or credit that a buyer is going to be getting at closing? Um, if, if you could break that down real fast. Yeah, absolutely. So Wait, can we throw in real numbers? What's that? Can we try to throw in like real simple numbers to, to make it tangible? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, excuse me, absolutely. Um, so taxes in Illinois are paid in arrears, meaning, you know, this year we paid the 2019 taxes. Next year, we're going to be paying the 2020 taxes. Um, so before, you know, August 3rd of this year, the seller would have to give you a credit for the 2019 taxes since the second installment hadn't come out yet. And they also need to give you a credit for the time they owned the property in 2020. Uh, now in the city of Chicago, basic transaction uh, with no uh, tax exemptions involved, let's say your tax bill was $10,000 in 2019. Usually the standard rate is to prorate that at 110% of the previous year's tax bill, meaning you'd be getting you know, $11,000 as a tax credit to, to pay uh, the next year's tax bill. Um, however, there are certain exemptions that could be in place. If this is your primary residence, you're going to get a slight reduction with the homeowner's exemption. Um, if you're a senior, you can qualify for the senior, senior exemption, which is an even bigger exemption. And then finally, if you meet certain financial requirements, they're going to be getting the senior freeze, which can be quite substantial. Um, you know, that can turn a, a $10,000 tax bill into a $7,000 tax bill. Um, it can be quite substantial. And those things need to get applied for January of each year. So if you're buying a property in November, you need to make sure that the seller is going to work with you to apply for that exemption in the following January so that you're not hit with a gigantic tax bill. Or you need to negotiate to have that exemption factored back into your tax proration. So either way, you're going to be made whole. Would, so uh, for listeners, the, this is the 100 or 105 or 110% that you see on the uh, contract that you and your realtor are drafting up. Uh, Chance, what, what is, is there any recommendation that makes uh, your negotiations on behalf of your buyer easier if they put 105 or 110% or is it always better to try to go for the 110%? But any feedback on that, what they should be trying to get, you, get to you? Yeah, if we're representing the buyer and it's a, just a normal year, I would say either put TBD in that blank space or really go for the 110. Um, if we're in a reassessment year, Definitely leave it TBD because um, it could be much more than 110%. And that could be something that we absolutely need to negotiate. Oh, wow. I've never seen TBD on there. That's awesome. I know we've always, uh, I've been around since 03 and we always, uh, Cook County, we did 110% and everywhere else we did 105. So that was kind of our, our rule of thumb. But that's, that's interesting, yeah. the TBD fact. I've never, I never knew that was allowed, I guess. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes, uh, my position a lot easier, you know, if uh, we're dealing with a blank number rather than having to negotiate up from 105%. Yeah. 